Today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to order your own PCBs and I receive an advertising 10 pieces for $2 so I try it out and order my own PCB boards on my own costs. So this is not sponsored, I just use the offered service and pay my PCBs and stencil and also the shipping cost. After doing all the PCB work and doing the PCB layout and also after doing all the panelizing and so on and checking all the board and, and also after doing a design rule checking, then if we are ready, then we plot out all the data to manufacture our board and I do it in a special directory called Gerber because this is the plot format Gerber and I'm using the front and backside copper layers, the backside and front side paste layers as already mentioned for the stencil. This is not needed for the PCB manufacturing. Then we do all the silk screen layers, the mask layers for our solar mask printing. I also plot out the edge cuts and the margins. So let us do it and all the files are plotted and also we generate a drill file and I do this mostly in millimeters not in inches. This is not important because it is it is written in the Gerber files so they can decide if the measurement unit is in millimeters or inches or so. And I merge also the plated through hole and the non plated through hole in one file. So I also generate the file and this is the result but we cannot use this files for the manufacturing. I also use a small script so I call the script and I show you the script later. Small Gerber script and it took the parameter. This is the name of the files and I use this and then as you see all the files are renamed by the script. So I can show you the script. This is just a small move script. So if you want to use this in another operation system, maybe like Windows, you should replace the move for a rename statement or whatever you need. So this is the small script. It just names the drill file to txt, the backside copper to gbl, backside mask to gbs. And so this is the coppers. This is the solder mask. This is the overlay or silk screen. This is the milling file. GTL is a top overlay for the copper and so. so. And this is just what we sent to the manufacturer and I use a program named GURB V. And there's another pro program named Gerber View. And this is not the same. This is GEDA. Gerber view. So all we do, we we open all the files all together and then we can put them in a logical order. So, so the log logical order is for my case, I first put on the all the drill files, then I do all the milling and also the GBR. This is the all the margins. So let's see. This is the milling, the drilling and the margins. And then I start with the top layer and I start with the silk screen, so the overlay, then the solder mask or between them the paste layer and also the copper layer. And the same order for the back side. So overlay, paste, silk screen and the copper. So Let's switch it on. This is our silk screen for the front side and our silk screen on the back side. This is our paste. So there's no paste on the back side. Yes, as you see, but this you have to think back to front and the same for the back side. So let's see the difference on the back side. We have just our through hole components and this is the copper layer and I switch it off and this is the back side copper layer. So now we are ready for shipping. I just take the whole Gerber file and create an archive and call it whatever you 
we want i mostly do order and then i take the date from today maybe 2017 09 12 so and then we have a zip file so let us rename this and then we go to the manufacturer side like this where we can order our prototype pcbs and i order the two two dollar for ten piece so i go to quote now then i check what i'm what i want i want two layers 100 by 100 millimeters to quantity 10 and i maybe just want a thickness of one millimeter and i usually take not the green one i take red or yellow mostly sometimes white as you see in my videos and then if you look for the price so if we do the coating with lead then we get the two dollar price but if we want no lead lead free then we have to pay an other price so and this is the gold finish so i for my prototypes that's okay i take with lead so and i just want one ounce of copper and not two ounces so you see the price is rising up if we do this and maybe we can do some gold fingers but don't want this and if we want to penalize something by the manufacturer then we can use this service and maybe we want two on the x side and three on y then we just take a non-penalized version of our board but i have already the penalizing done so i wish to do it my own and maybe if we want to do some holes they can do it half cut or something so i don't know really what this means <laughs> So, yes, and if we want also do a stencil with our paste layer, and I've included this in my file, so I also order in stencil. And I'm just order this normal stencil for $9. So the standard dimensions are okay. And I don't want to do an electro polishing because I have to pay another fee. And yes, maybe I want to do an etch through fiducial so I can align the stencil better. That's a nice service. So and after we, we've done with our settings, then I we go to the card. And after we logged on, we can add our Gerber files. And I just do the zip file I create. So after we upload the zip file, we can maybe check our design in the Gerber view. So let's see what's going on. So there we can check our design in the Gerber viewer. And I think that's okay. So we can switch here the color of the board, but that's more just playing around. So maybe we can also switch our finish surface and switch to the bottom side. Yeah, that's how our boards are looking. So then we can switch between the build time, maybe we use the standard build time or we are in a hurry. Then we can pay a fee to build our boards faster. So add on $30 if we want to do it a little bit quicker. So $9 for the stencil, $2 for the PCBs. So I've paid another fee for $15 for shipping. So I'm around about at $26 for both the PCBs and the stencil, but this is a very superb price. So after waiting for three weeks for the package for delivery, and this is maybe caused by a typhoon in this region, so maybe usually you get it a little bit quicker, then I receive my package and I can have a look at the PCBs. So here you see the, so the back side. And I've also ordered a different board from Dirty PCB as a comparison with an earlier revision of my board layout. So I can compare really the design and also the PCBs and also the quality of the silk screen of the solder mask and also on the copper side tracks. 
So let's compare them side by side and the JLC PCB boards are with the ESP32 add-on and as you see the big difference is I've ordered all boards with milling but the JLC PCB manufacturer skip the milling and do v-groove but that's totally fine I just want to cut all my boards in small pieces so I can have more than one board on the 100 by 100 millimeter manufactured PCB. And as you also see the silk screen looks a little bit nicer on the on the JLC PCBs than on the dirty PCBs. And if we see the front side the other PCBs are very thick and I'm very sure that I ordered the exact Gerber dimensions in the silk screen. So on the front side of the dirty PCBs the the silk screen are very thick and on the JL PCB all the silk screens on the front and back side are nearly identical. And now the more awkward part, my soldering, because I've done a mistake by not ordering the 0603 resistors with the right value. I have to use my spare parts and that's only available in 0805. And I have to solder the parts not flat on the board I've done them vertically so that looks a little bit weird but it works. So these are the transistors in SOT23 package and we can also see the resistors in the 0603 and as a comparison I show you also the 0805 package and we can see them both together so we can compare the different package sizing. And here also in comparison between 0603 and 1206 packages. So I think I've done this with 1206 and not with 805. So things get even worse. And now the reason why I use milling or regroove in this case. And as you see, you can grab the board and just cut them with a force of your fingers in very small pieces just on the line that the Wii groove goes. So we have after a while just six boards without any me mechanical work to do. And the same with the boards from Dirty PCB. This is time I've cut them at the milling point and as you see the milling goes round over the small board and the board was hold on the PCB with some micro bytes or mouse bytes. And now we can compare the two breaking techniques and as you see the milling edges are very sharp and very flat and the regroove parts are a little bit bumpier or rugged slash rough. But if we use milling we also have to get rid of the leftover by the mouse bites. And now we can also compare the physical dimensions, the drilling and also the location of the footprints. And as we see, it looks nearly identical, the lower part of the board. So if we don't look at the ESP32 footprint, all the other footprints are nearly the same. And here I solder the SOT23 package and I first apply a little bit solder to one pad, then solder the pad to the chip and then solder the other leads of the chip. And normally I do this on my tree ocular microscope. So in summary we get a $2 PCB for an excellent price and prototype quality but shipping is not included and there's a limit for one order per day per person. And we also get a LED surface finish and if we want really want to use LED free we have to pay an extra fee for restriction of hazardous substances. 
So thanks for watching today. I hope you find this useful and even learn something or just have a fun time watching this video. So I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.